direction there. So, I'm going to grab myself a, a Metro card uh, and jump on it. So wherever you see the green M's here, that, the green M is the is the Metro station. So, all right, I'll go down and grab a card and head off. So this is the blue line, the M2 line. So uh, Olympic station. Got to go and find a find a card first. Um, a lot of the undergrounds and that here have these little stalls and areas where you can go. Um, I don't know if I buy a ticket inside here. Soon find out. <clears throat> Sticking machines in here, so I guess I'll find out what to buy, where to get. Uh, there's also an office over here, so I suppose I can go and ask. Ask over here. Okay guys, so this is the smart card, so I guess I just tap and go in. Okay, perfect. Escalators here, guys, they move at a million miles an hour as well. I forgot about that. But this one's a pretty short one compared to uh, some of them. I'm going to try and get to Arsenalia today, which is the deepest metro in the world. I made a video there a couple of years ago, but it's just on the camera, on the phone, so yeah, the quality wasn't that good, but. So yeah, this is like a baby, baby depth, this one. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta be, these things move so quick. <laughs> so I don't even know which stations are on this line, it's the blue line. I don't know this line, so I want to work out which station I need to, which way to go. So I go and find somewhere to wait, sit down a little bit. pretty quick like clockwork. One's coming now. And from what I remember the acceleration on these trains too is just awesome.
so this is my done. So it's one of the busiest stations. It's also, it's also where you change the platform. out here where to change. I want to go from the blue line to the red line. up here to change from the blue to the red. I'll just give you a look at one of the platforms here in my barn. Alright, so, so that's that platform. I think I've got to go up here now to get the M1. Yeah. find a seat and sit down again and check check where I need to go on here so so I'm on the red line so I've got to go to Arsenalia from here all right I'll work it out That's pretty cool. Cool looking colours on this train. Ah, so I just missed, just missed that one. But I had no idea that's the one I needed to be on. But yeah, if you look at the, if you look at the stations here, so that's where I need to go. It's the next stop, Arsenalia. Arsenalia is classed as the deepest deepest metro station in the world so go and have a look oh, these old mosaics go 
one stop guys so Okay guys, so this is Arsenalda. Arsenalda, I keep saying Arsenalia, but I don't know why, but it's Arsenalna. So this is France's deepest metro station in the world. I've been here before, like I said, but I came here once before and made a video. I made a video here once before. Hold on, let the train go. Arsenalna, keep saying Arsenalia, Arsenalna, it's the deepest metro station in the world. So I might come back later and ride to the end to Lissova, which is the last station, but um, what I will do is I'll let this run. I'll let this video run all the way up. Oh, that's the other platform, I think. That's not where we want to go. I want to get out of here, so. Is that how we get out? I don't know. I think exits are down here. <coughs> So exits are down here. No, I'm going to keep this recording all the way up. Just to give you a sense of how... How big the station is. And how deep it is. So it's meant to be... I think it's 100 and 160 metres or 170 metres down. Yeah guys, these escalators, this is massive, it's like, I don't know if the video actually does it justice. Alright, so when you're watching this, just time it. I think last time I timed it from top to bottom, it was 4 minutes 20 seconds or something, because there's this escalator, and then there's another one after this that's probably three quarters of the length again so there's two stages and it's a really really weird feeling riding up these because if you look at the angle that you're on I mean you look at the ceiling at the top and the angle that you're on you're actually climbing at about a 45 degree angle <clears throat> and then if you've got vertigo that's the view back down Sort of, sort of freaks you out a little bit. I don't know. I, like I said, I, I have vertigo, and I think uh, I don't mind being chained to stuff and jumping off big things, etc. But this is a long way up. exercise every day uh, you don't really need to go to a gym you just um, stair climb up here a couple of times once up once down and that's your free exercise so yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty amazing how deep this place is 
obviously had multiple uses, you know, back in the day. So it was built deep for a reason, you know, it was built deep. So, you know, place can be used as a command center. The early days, big echo in here too. Or it could be used for, you know, bomb shelters, etc. So that's the first, that's the first stage of the escalator going down that way. And then we have the second, the second bit going up here. So this one's not quite as big, but it's still, still a bloody big escalator, this one. So I'd say this is probably three quarters. Three quarters of the size of the other one. People that are, I've seen people running down the steps on this, down the other side. Like that lady that just went down is going pretty quick, but yeah, I don't know. For me, that's kind of mental. If you lose your balance here or you slip, yeah, I don't think you're going to stop yourself. That the pranksters that sit on the on the rails here, like on the black rails, and slide down. There's, there's a famous one of a guy sliding down, and he runs into it's like a big metal object and straight into his nuts. But you can imagine doing this on this thing, man. You'd, ex, you'd be going pretty quick by the time you hit the bottom. All right, so this is not. This is not so much about getting out on a particular side, this is just uh, coming to show you the station today. Show you how big it is, how deep it is. But yeah, I came here once before, but it was during winter. Uh, so yeah, but it's pretty amazing, amazing station. Thanks. Thank you again, thank you. The station building. Last time I came here, yeah, it was uh, freezing cold and snow everywhere, but today it's not too bad today. I've already had two coffees today, so I'm thinking, do I go and get another coffee? I don't know. I don't know if I should, having had two already. So I don't know what this is around here. Oh, there's a McDonald's there. Looks like a coffee house here, so I might go and grab a coffee here in a sec. One more before I head back. But okay. So guys, there was a video just coming here to show you Arsenalna, the deepest metro station in the world. And so ticketing machines here, guys choice of English okay so you can top up your smart card and everything here as well cool so they also have the office the, the cash office so you can go over here to buy tickets as well things that are prohibited on the on the net on the net on the metro <laughs> bought one of these cards this morning
back up to Olympic uh, Station. That's where I left from this morning. So yeah, just went on a quick tour around those couple of stations down to Pasinalna. Being the deepest metro in the world, had a look at that. So heading back to Olympic now where the hotel is. Yeah, go get something to eat, rest up and uh, get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a big trip heading to Chernobyl tomorrow, so yeah. So I'm figuring this is where we go out because it's his exit. <coughs> I think these are ATMs over here, so I might go and try and get some cash. 